Hi FlossTube, I'm Pam. Welcome to my channel. This is take three because I can't seem to get my act together this morning. Um, if you are new here, welcome. This is not a normal FlossTube video for me. Um, I film my normal FlossTube videos on Mondays. This is a FlossTube extra. I am filming um, a mid-year recap video. We're going to do a finish and whip parade. See what I've done so far this year. Um, so if you're a returning viewer, thanks for coming back. Um, and this will not be my normal format. <laughs> um, so I do want to say real quick, if you are a returning viewer, um, because this is not my normal floss tube, I will not be doing the giveaway that I announced on Monday until, hold on, I got to sneeze. Okay. Apparently I don't. Um, I have a giveaway currently going on my normal floss tube. And if, if you're new here and you want to check out what that giveaway is, you can check it out in my last floss tube video, which is floss tube number 30. Hold on. Let me get my, my journal <coughs> right out of nowhere. I swear when I was prepared for it, it didn't happen. And then when I was not there, it was, um, anyway, my latest giveaway is uh, on floss tube number 37, if you wanna check it out. And I will be announcing the winner on floss tube number 38. Um, so there will be no giveaway in this video. It's just what the heck have I been stitching for January through June. Couldn't get a handle on those J words um, so far this year. Okay, so I'm not gonna separate out my finishes. I'm just going to, we're going to go chronologically what I started with and up until what my, my, mo, my oldest start to my most recent start, we're, do, we're going to go chronological. Um, I do have some notes, some statistics. That's not really the right word. Anyway, I started this year with 10 whips. So I brought 10 whips from 2020 into this year. I don't have any whips older than 2020. Um, whips, by the way, if you are finding floss tube for the first time, whip stands for work in progress. I currently, so I came into 2020 with 10 whips. I currently have 22 that I'm actively working on. I have five things I finished this year. Oh, that's pathetic, pathetic. For me, if you've only finished five things and that and that and you're happy with that, that's all that matters. For me, I was really hoping to have a lot more than five finishes by July 2nd. It is what it is. I can't change the past. And I have two UFOs. I have UFO two things. I will show them. It'll be the last time we see them forever. Um, okay, so for I we're gonna do the 10 things I came into this year with first. So my new year, new start for 2020 that I have not finished is A Year at Hawk Run Hollow by Carriage House Samplings. This is currently my oldest whip. I am stitching it on 40 count Legacy by Picture This Plus. I'm stitching it in the DMC conversion that's on the chart. And I do switch out colors every now and then if I'm not happy with the conversion that was listed. So here is where I am. I have uh, the uh, January, February, and March blocks are done. June is almost done. And then I've got a little bit of other blocks that have been worked on. Um, I am, if you're finding my channel for the first time, I host a Hawk Run Hollow Stitch Together Zoom. And if you are stitching a Hawk Run Hollow pattern and you want to join in on those, I host them twice a month on Thursdays. Um, and the next one is next week, next Thursday, the 8th at 7 p.m. Eastern. And if you are interested in that, you can fill out the Google form in the description box below and I'll send you the link. I usually send the links the day before. Um, I'll have the updated information on this on my Monday floss tube anyway, but if you're finding me for the first time and you are like, 
I'm stitching a hot and hollow too. You can join in and stitch together. It's the only way I'm getting this thing done because yeah. Um, okay. The second whip I came into this year with was Seeking Refuge by the Scarlet House. I started this on March 14th, 2020, and I finished it on March 14th, 2021. And she's, she's all framed up. I love this. I'm just gonna pause here and give a pretty face. So I can screenshot it maybe for my video, for my thumbnail. Um, yeah, this was a lovely stitch. I this, to me, this was my pandemic stitch. I could just look at it all day. It hangs in my dining room slash kitchen right over there on the wall. I love it so much. So that was finish number one. And then you're going to hear me say and then a lot because that's how whip parades go for me. There's a lot of and then. I apologize. And then <laughs> um, I started Summer by the Cross-Eyed Cricket slash Cricket Collection um, on May 15th, 2020. And I finished it on May 8th, 2021. So this was a mania start for me last May. And then I finished it this May. And here she is. Um, I stitched this on 32 count Lavender Lugana by Swigart, maybe. I don't have a project card for it because it's, it's a finish. So, by the way, if you are hoping for a whip parade where all of my projects are nicely ironed and beautiful, you might want to just stop the video here and move on to someone else's whip parade because my fabric is not going to be ironed. Um, I thought about it and then I was like, I'm never, if, if I have to iron everything, I'm never going to finish. I'm, I'm never going to start filming this. So, okay, here she is. So finish number two. I mean, technically it's probably not finish number two. It's the last thing I've finished this year so far because I'm showing finishes out of order. I'm showing them from when they got started and not from when they got finished. Okay, anyway, Summer by the Cricut Collection. I'm stitching all the seasons, so you'll see Autumn towards the end because that's my newest start. Okay, then I started Personal is Political in June, June 19th, 2020. And this is by Bendy Stitchy. So it's going to look like this. Well, mine is not gonna look like this because I'm not doing it on pink fabric, but it will look similar to this. And I'm trying to keep everything in their project bag so I don't have a mess to clean up. And I dropped EMC on the floor. You know, if I don't pick that up now, I'll forget what project that came out of. I'm back. Okay, I am stitching this on 40 count salt marsh. Let me get my project card. I use these project cards by S4 Designs and they have been fantastic in making sure that I always know what materials I'm using. Um, so 40 count salt marsh by r, &R Reproductions. And it is entirely too big of a piece of fabric for this little project, but that's okay. I'll have it for other things. So that's where I'm at. I should be finishing this soon, this summer, because it's called on my WIPGO board for this month to be a finish. And I'm hoping that that happens, but it's so small, I don't know how it's not finished already. All right, then for the summer solstice last year, I started, so June 20th, 2020, I started Night Walk Down by the blue flower and my holy hot mess. Okay, this is what it will look like when it's done. I am stitching my, I have got floss all over the place. Okay, I am stitching this on 32 count vintage tarnished silver by Lakeside Linens. And here is where I'm at. I love this so much. 
I really thought that this would be done by now and hanging on my bedroom wall. It's not, it's okay. It will be done this year. I've got, I've got goals. Okay. Then I started the Berry Bowl Sampler, which is a collaboration between Heartstring Samplery and the Scarlet House. They each charted a side. I am stitching the Scarlet House side and my mom is stitching the Heartstring Samplery side. Um, I don't have my mom's to show. I'm stitching on 14 count Ada. It is Heartland by Picture This Plus. And here's where I'm at. Um, this is a fun stitch. I'd probably be done, except I'm trying not to go too fast. I don't wanna to get too far ahead of my mom who is not a, not a fast stitcher. So let me get that up close. They're so fun. I love these little berry bowls. So, I mean, ultimately the plan is that it will hang in my parents' house when it's finished. And then someday far, far away, it will hang in my house. All right, and then we come to my first UFO. Um, this is the letter H, uh, Letters from Nora by Nora Corbett. And I started it on August 24th, 2020, and I am not in love with it. And I officially UFO'd it on April 15th of this year. This is what it it's, should look like. I hated it. So I don't know if this is UFO'd forever or if it's just in timeout. If it's just in timeout, when I come back to it, I'm gonna be taking out the fairy and restitching it because that's really what I'm not happy with. Um, or I may never touch it again, but it's no longer included in my whips. Um, then for the Autumn Equinox last year, I started the Halloween Squirrel by the Blue Flower. And I bring this out on the 13th of every month. So it gets some love on a pretty regular basis. Look at how cute those squirrels are. And I'm about halfway done. I'm about halfway done. So I'm getting there. I hope to have this one done by the end of this year too. This is a goal to have done by the end of this year. And then for my birthday start last year, I started The Tree of Magic by Barbara Anna. And I don't have a picture of the chart to show you. I just have like a partial picture. Um, it's a kit that you can get from uh, Knit Come Moscow. And so it's on the kit fabric, which is some sort of 32 count linen um, Swigart base. And it's stitched in all DMC. And here where, is where I'm at. Um, I've got, I just have one branch down here at the bottom left to do. But I met my goals for this year on it already. So I don't know if I'll finish it this year or if I won't. It would be so fast to stitch up though and have it be another finish. We'll see. It's a really fun stitch though. I can't wait to hang this one on my wall. Okay. Then my last, this is my last whip from 2020. On the winter solstice, I started O Christmas Tree by All Through the Night. And I am stitching it on the called for fabric, which is a 30 count putty by Weeks Dye Works with the called for floss, which is, I think it's light, it's Valdani. Olive Green by Valdani. And here we are. So I get this out on the 25th of every month. So it gets a little love every month. So it doesn't get forgotten. Although now that I'm thinking about it, I did not stitch on it this month. What was I thinking? I don't know. I actually hurt my wrist. Not my wrist, sorry. I hurt my elbow this week 
So I've not been getting as much stitching done and I'm thinking I probably didn't even think to check things that I should have been stitching on this week. Okay, so everything else from here on in was started in 2021. I may need some Coca-Cola for this. For the next phase. I started way more things than I planned on starting. I'm looking at my, I have like a little whip list. This red line was everything that I started in 2020 that I carried into this year. And this is everything I've started this year so far. It's only July 2nd, people. I had a plan. This is definitely way more than I planned. All right, my new year, new start this year was Forever and Ever by Carish, nope, by Cottage Garden Samplings. Let me get the chart for that. My plan is to stitch this whole series. I haven't even gotten through the first one yet. I am stitching it on 36 count tin roof by Weeks Dye Works. And I'm, I'm using all the called floor floss, called floor fabric. Um, I'm stitching it one strand over two. And here we are. So I'm like two thirds of the way done. I just have to finish the circle and all the leaves around it and the little house and the words. I love the way those flowers like pop. They have to be my favorite things I've ever stitched. And those cardinals, oh, that's such a crease. I'm hoping that irons out. It'll be fine, it'll be fine. I gotta. I almost cheated and didn't put my project back in the bag, and then it would have just been a mess later. Then this was close to a new year, new start. Um, I am stitching the temperature tree by Stitch and Mommy. The premise is that each leaf there's a there's a leaf for every day of the year and a branch for every month of the year. And the leaf color is determined by the high temperature of the day. So every Sunday I get mine out and I stitch the week's leaves. Another DMC is on the floor, people. Here we go. I'll be back. Okay. I'm stitching this on 16 count white Ada. And here we are, half the year is done. Um, almost half the year is done. I don't have the June branch quite finished yet. But yeah, it's so fun. I did a temperature tree last year too. Um, if you're new to my videos, I'm guessing probably my last video of 2020 or my first video of 2021. You can see the one that I did last year, or if you, probably if you watched last year's Finish and Whip Parade, <laughs> you can see it there too. Um, but at last year I did the Granny Square Temperature Stitch Along by Carolyn Manning. Um, that was a fun one. This one stitches up a lot faster. The temperature tree is a lot faster though, which I like. Fine. We're all fine. Um, next finish. I am stitching. This is the Quirky Quaker Hedgehog by Darling and Whimsy Designs. I started this on January 16th, 2021, and I finished it on January 16th, 2021. So this was a SAF, a start and finish. I think I'm going to turn this into an ornament for my youngest. That was the plan originally. Well, we shall see. We shall see what happens. Okay. Then this is the I Love My Husband project. I have that. I started this. I don't have an exact date for the start on this. Somewhere towards the end of 20, like my husband started it in 2020. This was his I'm going to learn how to cross stitch project. He picked it out. 
Um, and then he decided he didn't like cross stitching. So I adopted it from him. So I started stitching on it in 2021, but he started it sometime in 2020, but then I ripped out most of everything he stitched and restitched it because it was wrong. It's okay. So here is what it will look like when it is finished. So it's the Celtic Tree of Life 3 by RC Cross Stitch. And I take it out on the 14th of every month because that's my husband's birthday and our anniversary date. And here's where I'm at. So just plugging along at it. I'm not in any rush. It is soothing to stitch on though when I get it out. Um, it's a, I think, I don't know, if, remember if I said this, but it's a 14 count Ada. Um, and it's DMC and it's big blocks of one color and it's just, it's relaxing. I'm running out of space to put things I've shown. All right. And then another finish. I'm running, I'm running fast coming across my finishes. And there will be none left to show. I think I just have one more after this. Anyway, this is the Hope small by hello from liz matthews if you subscribe to her newsletter occasionally she sends us free patterns and this was the first one she sent this year and i stitched this for um the inauguration i love it so much um it was just a piece of scrap fabric so i have no idea i don't even remember what the floss is either it's all one floss so it's all one variegated floss Oh, I love that one. And it's just languishing in my closet right now. Like, why haven't I turned it into a pillow or something? It could be like on my wall, like on my table right now. It would fit in. I'm not going to put it when I'm done filming this video. I am not going to put it back in the closet. It's going to get fully finished and it's going to sit on this table. Probably not by Monday's video, but maybe the one after that. All right. And this is the other pro project. I FFO, I not FFO'd, UFO'd. I started, when did I start this? February 5th. It's um, the Animal Crossing Stitch Along by Cunning Cross Stitch. It's a free stitch along. And I made a bad fabric choice. Um, everybody told me, Pam, you're not going to want to stitch this on Ada. It is full of fractional stitches, and I didn't listen. And it's not any fun to stitch and <laughs> I don't want to touch it anymore. So I'm officially UFOing it. I've got a big hunk of fabric left on the bottom. I don't even know what fabric this is. It is 16 count coastal by picture this plus. So I'm going to cut this fabric off like right here and have a big piece of fabric left to play with. And then that's going in the trash. I, I don't, I don't love it. And I'm, I was stitching it for my daughter who absolutely loves Animal Crossing. And I just, I think there are cuter Animal Crossing things that I could stitch for her that won't make me cranky. This is a hobby. It should be fun. And I am not having fun with this. I am not a big, um, what's the word I want? I'm going to press my on button. Um, I'm not a big fractional stitcher. I'll do them, but this is so heavy in the fractional stitching and it's very confetti-like and it's not my style stitching that I like to do. All right, last finish. This is the last finish of the year. I stitched Sense and Sensibility by Stitching Book Club. Um, you can find Stitching Book Club at Sapphire Mountain Handcrafts on Etsy. It's Sapphire MT Handcrafts. The mountain is abbreviated. And I stitched this on her kit fabric. I think it's a 16 count Ada. It's so pretty. I love stitching book club and I've stitched a few of them last year. This is the first one from this year. And I'm going to do like a whole bookshelf display with the books and the finished pieces. And I probably have enough done now that I should probably get to work on FFOing and getting a bookshelf and setting that up. 
FFOing is my weak point. <laughs> okay. That's okay. Everybody has strengths and weaknesses and actually getting my stuff displayed is not a strength of mine. All right. I am stitching three ornaments by Satsuma Street this year. Um, and this is the first one I started and I started it on February 22nd. So this one is called Santa Nutcracker. It's a whole kit that you can get from her Etsy shop. And it comes with the perforated paper and the floss and the beads and sequins and stuff. And so I have all the stitching done on this so far. And it's so cute. I just have to do the beading and then cut it out and assemble it because he's actually gonna hold this tree in his hand over here or over here. That might make more sense. Yes, this hand. That, that doesn't actually have a hand attached is going to hold the tree. So I have to assemble that. I'm probably going to do that closer to Christmas time though, because I'm just afraid that I will finish it and it will get ruined in my house before I gift it to my sister-in-law. Um, then what did I do? I don't even remember doing some of these things. So apparently I started Hoop There It Is by Heartstring Samplery on February 28th. Oh, it's because I was gonna do monochromatic march with a few of my stitchy friends and we were gonna start them together on a zoo. I don't know why we started in February and not March. It's okay. So anyway, this is Hoop There It Is from Heartstring Samplery, cannot get It's really cute. I am doing mine on 18 count white Ada. And I'm using a, I wanna say it's a silks for you. It's silk that I got from Mary X-Ray X-Stitcher. And I can't, I don't know what it's called, but I think it's silks for you, but I don't know the number. And here's where I am. So, I mean, I am like, in looking at the chart, I'm probably a third of the way done. A quarter, of the, a quarter, I'm probably a quarter of the way done now that I'm really looking at it. But I mean, I don't have, I'm, I'm in no rush to finish this. I don't have a plan for it. Ultimately, it would go in a craft room. Like if I had a dedicated stitching room, but I don't see that happening for like five or six years. So I'm that's no hurry. Then on March 1st, if you have been watching my regular floss tubes, you're probably super tired of seeing this. But on March 1st, I started the Pixels That Made Us by Pick Stitch. This is a weekly stitch along that is almost finished. I had been keeping up with it like like it was my job. And then I fell behind. Um, I'm a week behind at this point. And that I'm okay with that because in July, um, I'm trying not to talk about things like plans, but in July I'm planning on stitching on gifts, like my ornaments. I've got a few stitchy gifts I wanna send out to people. I need to stitch a small for a retreat I'm going to in November. So I'm, it's, I'm letting myself fall behind on my stitch alongs so that I can get those things done. But here it is so far. Um, it's going to spell gamer. Each letter has characters from a different gaming system. The G is the original Nintendo Entertainment System. The A is the three different Game Boys, um, Game Boy, Game Boy Color, uh, Game Boy Advance. The M is arcade characters. The E is Sega Genesis. And the R is Super Nintendo. So the R is where I've fallen behind. I have the first part done. The second part should have been stitched this week. It has not been stitched. And I'm just, I'm letting myself be okay with that. This was an amazingly fun stitch. It is outside my normal stitching um, comfort zone. It has 206 colors in it, which is not my style at all. 
Um, but it has been just fun, fun to stitch. And I'm giving that one to my middle guy and it'll be his Christmas present and he's going to love it. And he, I mean, he, it's not a surprise. He watches me stitch it all the time and we talk about the different characters. It's been kind of a nice bonding piece with my 20 year old, 21 year old middle guy. Okay. This one I had completely forgotten. I started, this was my spring start this year. It is Prancing in the Tulips by Lindy Stitches. And it was in the spring issue of Punch Needle and Primitive Stitcher magazine. Um, I'm stitching it on, so I don't have a picture of it, unfortunately, because I didn't think to bring the magazine over here. And I don't, it'll take me too long to find it. So we're just gonna, if you wanna know what it looks like, let me know in the comments and I will make sure to show the picture of it in my Monday video. Um, I'm stitching it on 40 count straw flower by Lakeside Linens. And here is where I got. I got the top border done and I got some flowers done and a cat tail. So it's gonna be a cat that's prancing in the tulips and I'm doing a color conversion on it. So it looks like our cat Fufa Nut. So it's supposed to be a calico cat and instead it's gonna be a Fufi Tabby cat. So, I forgot I started this. I'm, and that's the bad thing because I picked colors that it's not, that aren't charted. And I am hoping when I go to stitch it again that I remember what colors I'm doing what with. It'll be okay. It'll be fine. This one is not gonna go back into its project bag because that takes a little finagling. Okay, we're almost done. Got like 10 left. Whew, holy moly. Okay. On March, March 1st. Nope. I'm looking at the date that says 4 one And out of my mouth comes March. April, on April 1st, I started the Raining Lorelei's by Forbidden Fiber Co. So it was a kit that you could get for, from them. Um, I don't think you can currently get the kit now, but I did hear a rumor recently, and I don't know where, that uh, she might be releasing some of the charts that have come out in kits. I mean, fingers crossed, because everyone needs to stitch this. That's what it's going to look like. I am a huge Gilmore Girls fan. I love Gilmore Girls. I stitched it quite a bit when I first got it. Um, actually, I have no idea if I stitched it quite a bit. I have not looked at this since April. Um, I did not stitch on it quite a bit. <laughs> it's okay. Um, this is on. The kit fabric was 32 count opalescent frozen and it's dyed by a forbidden fiber co i have most of an umbrella done and an octagon is that an octagon i said that and i have no idea two four three. it's an octagon um yeah that's pathetic the project is sympathetic. My, the amount I got stitched on it is. I was just watching Sammy Liz. She just did her mid-year whip parade. Um, she is ever so much more stitched on this than I do. This will end up on my whip go board for next year. Then I did a Barbara Anna April with some of my stitchy friends. And so I started I don't have a good picture of the chart. This is what happens when I don't think I actually have a picture of the chart. Oh, no, I have a little bit of the picture of the chart. It was a mystery stitch along. So you can see like a blurred out picture and then part one. Um, it's Dreaming Frida by Barbara Anna. And I'm stitching it on 20 count through the stones by Be Stitch Me. And here's where it is. That's where I, where I am so far. So that is, I believe it's part one, 
two and three. Might just be one and two. I have no idea. Oh, I have no idea. This is not good. It's okay. Here's where I'm at. I don't know what I'm gonna work on it again. I do like this little cat though. That has to be more than just part one. That must be part one and part two. I hope so. Yes. I don't think I have part three and part four done. Okay. Then what, Pam? Then what did you work on? I'm glad you asked. I worked on, oh, this was a get, nope. What came next? Oh, huh. I had a start that I forgot to put in my list. Because sometimes that happens. Um, I started arranging the KitchenAids by ink circles on May 1st. And I forgot to put it on my whip list. Just slipped through the cracks. So cute. Um, I'm stitching it on 30 count light khaki by Week Style Works. And apparently if you stitch this on 30 count, it will fit in a five by seven frame. 30 count is not actually my favorite count to stitch with. Um, I think I would rather stitch on 28 for whatever reason. 30 count never feels right to me, but I'm stitching it on 30 count because it's gonna fit in that five by seven frame and I'm not good at framing. So being able to just buy a standard frame makes me happy. And that's where I got. Not a whole lot of progress. I think I'm gonna bring this one with me to the retreat. Like if I can get a bunch of the outlines finished, then I'll just be able to do fill-in at the retreat and that'll make me happy. I've run out of space. Then I was gifted a chart by one of my viewers, Stephanie Campbell Weitzman. And so I'm stitching it. It is Land That I Love by Country Cottage Needleworks. I started it on May 8th and my plan is to stitch it and then re-gift the chart but I'm not stitching it very fast. I'm stitching it on 20 count honey by Be Stitch Me. And I have the top border done and a little bit of vine, that's it. It'll be a 2022 finish. It's probably not gonna be a 2021 finish. Then I started Hey Pumpkin by Fat Quarter Shop. I think it's, it's by Lori Holt or it's so Emma. I don't know anything. I don't know what I'm talking about. Here's, here's the front of it. It's Hey Pumpkin. It's so Emma.com. But it also says Fat Quarter Shop. Are they like the same thing? Are they different things? I won this from Dawn Marie from DM's Crafty Vortex. She will know the answer. And then I started it with her in November. Is that when we were together, Don Marie? I gotta look at my chart. I gotta look at my list here. Hey, pumpkin. Yeah, no, yes. Did I say November? November hasn't even happened yet. May, we were together in May. We went to celebrations in New Hampshire and we were together and that's when I started it. It's being stitched on like a 10 count. I don't even know what is up and what is down. It's a weak start. It's a part of a pumpkin. I only stitched on it for like one day when we were together because then I did a new start. I did two new starts for my like fun stitching weekend that I did in May because we ended up going to the World in Stitches in Littleton, Massachusetts, where I purchased 
what's in this bag, which was gifted to me by my friend Sue, who also was with us that weekend. We went to the World in Stitches where I purchased the Nantucket Girls Sampler by Plum Street. I apologize for the glare. And I purchased the chart, kitted it up, went back to our cabin and started it. Um, the fabric is, wait, I didn't make a project card for this. I have no idea. I have no idea what the fabric is. It's 40 count. It's by Seraphim Fabrics. And that's, I don't know the name of it, which is unfortunate because I love this fabric. Fesbian? Fesby? It's something like that, I think. I'm gonna have to go back and watch the video where I showed this the first time so I can figure out what the heck it is I'm stitching on. So that's where I am. I kind of want to not put this away and stitch on it this weekend. <sighs> no, I have ornaments I have to stitch. It's gifty July. I need to stitch my gifts. I can't believe I didn't make a project card for this. I mean, I, who am I kidding? I can believe I did not make a project card for this. I can't wait though till I have time to really spend some time with that. What I have been spending time on today, um, my elbow is finally feeling well enough that I was able to get some stitching done this morning. And I'm hoping that it stays that way and I can get stitching done this weekend because my next start of 2021 was Christmas is Joy by Satsuma Street. It's another one of those ornament kits you can get. I feel like I've been talking for a long time. I'm sorry. Um, and here's where I am at. Sorry, I've got like needle and thread attached. I literally like stopped, I think mid stitch so I could film this. Here's where I am. I made some sort of mistake in this Y. I don't care. I don't care. Um, it'll all work out, we're moving on. Um, cause I can't figure out where I made a mistake, but it's definitely off. So I'm hoping to get this done this weekend and then I'll have another finish. Put that over here so it doesn't get put away. Um, and then Stitching Book Club came out with the current book that we're reading, which is Little Women. And part two just got released today and I'm not going to stitch it <laughs> this month um, unless I get my gifts done and I'm, I'm having to tell myself it's okay. Um, so this is Little Women by Stitching Book Club. I'm stitching it on 18 count Mystic Gray. It's just a swag. It's just a, like a basic swag art color. Um, and here's where I'm at. Yeah. Part two has a house. So there's going to be uh, Louisa May Alcott's house is going to be down here. Um, it's really cute. I haven't printed it out yet. All right, show you, but it's still living in my email. And I started Little Women on June 12th. I realized that I have not said my start date for probably half the whips that I showed. That's okay. I'm just doing that for myself. I, I'm i sure all of you stitchy folks out there are not like dying to know when Pam started. Hoop, there it is. Like, it doesn't matter. All right, I have one left. My most recent start uh, was the summer solstice this year. I don't know, I like to do a seasonal start. So I almost always have a start on like the spring and autumn equinoxes and then the um, summer and winter solstices. I, and I started autumn on the summer solstice, which makes no sense. And then my husband adoring, adorably said, oh yeah, you could have it done for the autumn equinox. It's not gonna happen, but he thinks it might. So, I mean, that's cute. Anyway, this is what it will look like when it is finished. 
I cannot wait to get to that tree. But I started here on the U. I am stitching this on probably my second most favorite fabric of all time. It is 32 count meadow rue by Lakeside Linens. I am like hardcore in love with this fabric. And here is where I'm at. I got half a U done and a little bit of a pumpkin. And that's all, all there is. All my whips, five finishes and two UFOs. I hate UFOing things, but you know when you do, it, there's, it's sort of like this weight that gets lifted off of you. Like, oh, I don't have to work on this project I'm not happy with anymore. It's sort of like when you're reading a book and you're not enjoying it. And then you're like, what am I doing? I don't have to finish this. Sometimes you do, like if it's for school or there's nothing worse than somebody who doesn't finish their book for book club. Um, so, I mean, there's sometimes you have to get a book finished. But if you're reading for fun, there's like no law that says if you start a book, you have to finish it. Just like there's no law that says if you start a cross stitch project, you have to finish it. These things are for fun. All right, that's all I have. Um, under an hour. I thought this was gonna take me so much longer. On my list, there's 29 things I had to show, except that there were really 30 because I forgot to put the ink circles thing on my list. And I was really afraid that um, it would take too long. To, it would take like forever and a half to show 30 things. Of course, I didn't probably say all the things that I would normally say about each project if it was in my normal floss tube videos. I can get a little bit rambly there, just like I can feel myself getting a little bit rambly now. So I'm going to stop here. I'm going to say thanks for watching. Um, if this is the first time you're finding me and you want to see how I progress on these projects, make sure that you subscribe to my channel. Um, and then you can catch me on a weekly basis and see how my stitching is going. I'd love to have you. And I guess that's it. That's all I have. I will see you guys on Monday. Bye everyone.